I'm joined by editor of Air and Travel magazine, Owen Curry. Owen Curry, to come to you first, we had, as they, the DAA and Aer Lingus up in front of an Oireachtas committee today. They've been blamed for much of the problems that we're seeing at Dublin Airport so far um, this summer. What do you make of what they're saying now? Because uh, we are hearing from Aer Lingus saying, stop people coming early to the airport. That's what should happen. That's, that's causing more problems. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. A couple of interesting things out of today. One was Lynn Hamilton's uh, clear statement, people are presenting too early. Everybody knows people are presenting too early. Much easier to say that than to persuade a family uh, to come, uh, you know, within the reasonable length of time, given what happened at the end of May at the airport. So there has been a huge breach of trust between Dublin Airport and the airlines that are conveying these people and the families who are going on their holidays, it's going to take a little bit more than the Neuroctus Transport Committee appearance to regain that trust. Interesting, they talked about uh, dealing with that baggage mountain, uh, 1,800 bags missing at any given time, getting that down uh, to 1,200. That's supposed to be some sort of an achievement, but uh, more than 500 bags a day are being lost, just 267 on the sky handling side. A couple of things that the... Uh, air baggage handlers in particular threw back at the politicians mm. is that there's a little bit of bureaucracy, a bureaucracy about driving licenses, bureaucracy about security clearances, things like that that could be tidied up. But we're certainly not going to see um, the summer magically turn back into a, a, a normal summer over the next few weeks. What we are seeing is those uh, cancellations for COVID mm -hmm. being reduced by Aer Lingus, largely because they've hired in uh, crew and staff from other airlines, wet leased in aircraft to get through that.